Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we are at the end of season five, three attackers, uh, nothing really interesting as the earliest you could possibly get this is around this time, maybe a few days earlier. So it's going to be around uh, team of the season time. And these cards are kind of subpar compared to the cards that we're going to start uh, getting. So uh, again, it's a disappointing pick and I don't think uh, a lot of people, if any, will grind to these. Now, grinding to these is not that hard, as a lot of people will uh, think. Uh, basically, what you need to do is do the weekly objectives, which is the bronze, silver, and gold. And uh, most of them, a lot of people get stuck in uh, one of the objectives, like in the bronze objectives, without even knowing, because there's going to be an objective there that uh, it will be easy to complete, but if you don't see it, uh, you might not just do it. Like, I think from this week's and the bronze one, it was to score three goals with a left wing. So if you start a team with no wingers, or you don't score any goals with your left winger, um, you won't get past that bronze part. If you do notice it, it's going to be easily done and then you can move on. The bronze, silver and gold um, give somewhere around 12 to 15,000 experience points every week. So uh, you can see how that stacks up really fast and you can get to these, this 100,000 if you do these weekly. And uh, some others like you grind for some special players or um, other objectives that EA adds during the week that you can easily reach these uh, 100. Uh, another one question that a lot of you ask me is, I'm at this, um, I have so many points, will I be able to reach uh, 100,000 before it expires? So as of this Friday, uh, with whatever came out this Friday, uh, up till, till two weeks from now, I would assume that EA will come out with at least another 40,000 to 45, maybe even 50,000 experience points. So if you are over the 50,000 mark, um, I think you still have time to grind to this player if it's something you're interested in. Now, let's go into the pick. Like I said, nothing really interesting um, that is really worthwhile to pick. Uh, nothing in this Condreva for me. Uh, Jimmy Briant looks interesting. It's a FIFA legend like FIFA 11, FIFA 12. This was one of your starting uh, players that you would use. Uh, it looks like a decent card, but like a poor man's Mbappe or something like that. Um, and then we have this Lamella. So I am going to be picking this Lamella, not because it's a very good card, as you can see, four star, three star, um, nothing really interesting in the stats, but because I think out of the three, it probably is the best choice. So let's pick this Lamella, add him into the team. So here we go. We have uh, picked Eric Lamella. We've added him to the team. Uh, we changed his position and we added the camp style. So we're talking about an 89 Lamella. His base card is an 80 rated. Um, no informs, no special cards, so 90 ratings boost. Uh, we have uh, six foot high, high, left footed for a right wing. Uh, and we have four star skill moves, three star weak foot, which is an upgrade to his regular card, which is a two star, uh, which kind of makes that card unusable. So three star, we can say it's all right, but at this point we'll be getting so many boosted cards. This card doesn't look all that great. So into the pace, uh, like I said, I already applied the Hunter because we have 87 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. Uh, to play him as a winger, I don't think that pace at this stage in the game will be enough. So we get plus 10 and plus 10 to almost max it out. His shooting is not all that great uh, with poor finishing at 84. So we get plus 10 there. He has good shot power and good long shots, which might be something. His passing is uh, uh, very, very good at 91 vision and 91 short pass and curve as well. Uh, so this is a card that could probably play maybe better as a cam, uh, but if you want to play him as a cam, we'll probably play another uh, cam style, we'll probably play something like an engine uh, into him. Uh, Dribbling is pretty high, but uh, pretty low in some key areas like agility, balance and reactions. Um, he does have good ball control and dribbling though. Uh, no defending um, and physical, we have poor jumping. Stamina 83 is not going to be enough. Um, that's what I think, but it remains to be seen in game. Um, strength is all right at 77, uh, but aggression is pretty high at 98. Uh, the other good thing about this card is like he's full of uh, traits, but as you can see, uh, half of them are IE controlled, so it's nothing that you can do about it. Uh, and one of the others is injury prone, which is not a good trait to have. He does have the flair, uh, but the important thing is going to be probably he has the finesse shot. So being a right winger with uh, a left foot, you could probably cut inside and maybe try some finesse shots. And that could be a thing for him, which is something that we probably want to attempt to do. So 
um, is going to be easy to fit in your team, being Prem, being Argentinian, so there's not going to be any problems there. So let's go into a couple of games of Foot Champions and try this card out. All right, so this is going to be our first opponent. Kind of a poor team for this stage in the game, but nonetheless, some good uh, cards in there. Uh, like that uh, for Birthday of Tal. Our is always a good player, Van Dyke, Pope and Goal, and uh, some meta goal cards. Uh, so for the first game, we're going to go into the 4-4-2 flat, uh, our usual formation, and we're going to try Eric Lamella in the right wing spot, um, his natural position as a right mid uh, slash right uh, wing with no instructions. Okay. Okay. On the inside, his weak foot. Oh. There. There's Lamella. The finesse, it wasn't all that great. No. Oh my god, that was an excellent finesse shot. A uh, very tough angle there. There he is. Again on the outside. Good acceleration. Let's try finesse again. Oh, a fantastic finesse shot. Go. Go, Lamella, go. Go. Get that wing. Come on. Come on. Good. Good pass. Neres. Nice. Again. Three in a row. Keeps the ball on his right. Nice. We score with a weak foot as well. All right. And that's going to be game. Uh, nothing too special in the first game, although we did score a hat trick, three goals. Uh, but I was pushing uh, the ball a lot from that side. Uh, 9.3. With three goals, um, six on seven shots, not that bad, although I felt that he didn't have a lot of shot power, though he does have good rating in that. It didn't, we didn't see it in the game, but he does have an excellent finesse shot. So uh, let's go into another game. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be our second opponent. We have, I think, a much better team than the first one. Again, with some goal wares, but once again, there are meta goal wares that you can actually play up until now. Who would imagine maybe three Mendy at the start will be an end game card. Anyways, for this second game, we switched it around. We're going to go into the full one, two, one, two narrow as we're going to try out storyline uh, Lamella in the central camp position now. And we also uh, switched his camp style from a hunter to a engine. There's Lamella. One touch, finesse. Ah. There. Maradona. And we get it at 2 0. Nice, good control, give me that pass. There is one touch, goal. Nice assist there. There he is, Eto, why? Finesse, there we go. There's Lamella with that great finesse shot. On the left. On the finesse and we score again his finesse shot is amazing all right here we go let's get both of lamella because i wanted to check out his stamina as you can see he's less than half so not ideal at the stage in the game his stamina it is going to be a problem like i predicted um with that 83 stamina it's not going to be enough let's see finesse Ooh, did we get it we get it we also get the hat trick at the end another hat trick for lamella all right and that's going to be game so we get another hat trick for uh, Eric Lamella, and he got uh, one or two assists in there, uh, at least as a central cam, as you can see here in the 4 1 2 narrow. Perfect 10. Three goals and two assists, like I said, three on four shots, uh, 14 on 15 passes, 16 on 21 dribbles, and one on two tackles. One. So he did an amazing work um, as a central cam, uh, much, much better than the right wing. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have storyline Eric Lamella. Played a couple of games. We tried him as a right mid in a 4-4-2 four, four, flat uh, with no instructions. We scored a hat trick, although we kind of maxed him out. In the first game, we had the Hunter playing him on the right uh, mid. So we had 97 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. He didn't feel that fast. Also, he was not explosive. His agility is good. It feels a bit better than that 84. Uh, so his dribbling is there, although it's not a very tight dribbling close to the feet. It's kind of a bit of a wild dribbling. Uh, so not a lot of control, uh, but the 
the passing was good, but the bad thing was that stamina, 83, is not enough for somebody that you need on the wing to run, maybe do some quick counters and stuff like that. It's not going to be enough for him. Um, which proved the same in the second game where we played the 4 one 2 2 narrow. We played him as a central cam. Now, I think he's more suited in that position, as you can see. We switched to an engine to play him in that central cam role. Uh, we get less pace, but we get more passing and we get more dribbling. Uh, he felt a lot better with the engine uh, to be played uh, central. Um, he had two assists and another hat trick. Uh, I, I much more enjoyed him in that position where you don't need him to run. Just get the ball, maybe dribble around and find some space. He was good in finding spaces and good in um, distributing the ball. He was making some great passes. So in that position, I like him really well. What stands out, obviously, is that finesse trade. I think all the goals that we scored were finesse shots. Um, I think he only missed one, maybe, that we attempted. Other than that, his finesse shot is amazing. If you play this guy, you need to do uh, attack with his finesse shot. He's a three-star weak foot. So uh, if you get him on his left, you use that finesse, it's a guaranteed goal. Uh, all in all, I would say it's a decent card, uh, but not something that I will prob probably get in my team. As a right mid, right wing, I wouldn't rate him that much. I will say like something like a 6.0, something like that. As a central cam, I rate him more. I would say somewhere around the 7 area, 7.0, something like that. Uh, maybe 7.5 because of that uh, finesse shot. And uh, if you play him in the central cam, you have a lot of opportunities uh, around the box to use that finesse shot and uh, attack the goal and uh, with that finesse shot like i said it was amazing you can score a lot of goals with that left uh, foot so out of the three options i think without trying the other two i think this is going to be your best option and it's the easiest option to link as you can see we also have uh, this guy the los celso showdown that you might want to do and do like a spurs or an argentinian or whatever uh, but there are more links uh, that you can get to this guy and also with the prem team of the season coming up uh, he might be uh, a good addition to your team so this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.